Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is today is the day she will die. Huh. I can hear you, you know. Oh? You can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm... Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you Mr. Voice. O what did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. Huh? <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know, I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's a deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Did she just do a deal with the devil? Let's find out. <laughs> like later. Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This is Kimberly and this is Steven. They're on a trip fighting super evils. I like to move my body. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the music that goes on forever. It's the fox I see outside my window sometimes. I call him Benjamin. He's a really cute fox. Ugh. I don't care much for foxes. Benjamin. Ben. my secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> Just leave it here, for Bubsy, you know, the toddy. This is Bubsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. 
This is my diary. Nobody is allowed to read it. Want to see? I'm so cute. <laughs> Did you draw all this? Uh-huh. Fibonacci Interesting route Interesting name A puke of love, that's what it is. I don't like it when daddy hits mommy. That's Hiro, my Japanese friend. He's a ghost. Interesting Fibonacci in the vines. An I encoded with six. Interesting. The eye of Horus or the eye of Ra? Glitter. I love my glitter. Glitter. I love my glitter. I did a coloring too. Impressive. <laughs> I peed in the lake. It was really warm. that picture I was such a baby very cute now I'm such a lady I'm a little lady that's what I am My Japanese friend, he's a ghost. <laughs> Bang 
Evangelion. Ugh, not Fox. Yes. <laughs> This is Babsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. I saw a monster in here once. I showed it the finger and it never came back. Before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... choose my soft and beautiful unicorn. Perfect. You can never go wrong with a magical unicorn. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> ah, and so you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Happiness to everything! Hey, you. On the other side of the screen. Remember I told you she was going to die today? Let's keep that a secret between us, all right? This is Grandma. She wears a diaper, too. <laughs> you still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple once by running too fast. Did Mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. Oh, oh please don't fall down. Damn it, it's all broken now. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, thank you. Hmm, maybe I could try to fix it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it.
I did it. Look, that's me. Mommy told me I have to smile even when I'm sad. My daddy's friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter Erica, she thought his gun was a toy. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. Then her parents died and she was so sad. <laughs> Ugh, it smells like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Oh, dead rabbits again? When will Daddy learn I like them alive? Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Dead animals. That's what it is. Yikes forever. Yay! Happiness to the soup! <laughs> we had a lovely dinner last night. Mommy wasn't that drunk, and Daddy actually said hi to me. When I grow up, I want to be just like my mommy, a juice drinker. <laughs> That's today! Afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, morning. Oh. <laughs> Remember Benjamin the Fox? This is where I first saw him. He was hiding in the trash and we made eye contact. It was really intense. Yes, you told me about that fox already. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. This pool smells like a toilet. <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> that is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> this is where daddy often sleeps. Daddy? <laughs> Hello, kitty. Here, come. Come, kitty. Kitty, kitty! Kitty! Kitty, don't go! Damn it. I never get to pet the sweet animals. So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices? There is no right or wrong. Only consequences. Okay, okay. Only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right. I can do that. Look to the left. Look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. What monster? 
I didn't see anything. I was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now. a little sparkle back there. Anyway, where are we? Look, there's a puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. Last time I trial run this, I played with it and it died. Because I didn't want to set it free and it run into traffic. But I'm tempted to see if it still dies either way. So I'm gonna set it free, I think. Hmm. Difficult one. Now nah, I'm just gonna do what I did before. <laughs> do the logical thing. I will play with it so we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now throw the ball at it. What ball? This ball. Ah, that ball. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What did I do? It's all broken now. Mr. Voice, everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes life is just unfair, but I'm here for you. Really? Thank you. Well, sadly, the puppy will miss the party now. What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. What accident? Ah, yes, the puppy, yes. Let's go. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. I'm sorry I broke you, puppy. I really am. Maybe we can play later, you know? When I'm broken too. <laughs> I'll take the party hat as a symbol of our friendship, puppy doggy. Ah, <gasps> Red Bull Puppy Killer.
It says no dogs allowed. Oh, really? Oh no, I step on doggy do. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, sweet. I can see my footprint. Let's see what came out. I see a lot of glitter and... Is that rice pudding? <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. Please, let's keep moving. So, Miss Fortune, at the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And the party, right? Ah, yes, that too. You know, once at this lake, I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I almost died. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's happening? I think you're in big trouble, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell me about it. Where are these birds taking me? I have no idea, but you have to do something about it, fast. Alright. Okay, my glitter is shiny. So if I throw glitter at the birds, they will only see shiny. And they will get confused and leave me alone. That sounds like a solid plan, Miss Fortune. All right, here I go. Lateral attack! <laughs> this is taking a long time. We didn't even go that high up. Well? Time seems to slow down when we are in danger. Am I in danger? Hey, look! A bird! Hello, bird! Oh, that was a rude bird. Oh, why didn't I break my legs and die? You seem very good at falling. Thank you. <laughs> so, Mr. Voice, is the party on the same way to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes. I mean, if you want to. Yes, of course. That's the least I can do for the sweet puppy. That is very brave of you, Miss Fortune. Thank you. Oh, look! A boat! Hello! Are we there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. should we do about it? I would like to return it. It smells fishy. Bye-bye, fishy fishy.
And here we are, the house of George. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine. You're brave telling the truth about the puppy. <laughs> Stop it. I'm doing it for the puppy, you know. <laughs> Nobody's answering. I'll invite myself in. Time to check out the party. I saw a man once floating in the lake, just like this fishy. Ah, oh, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Are you sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? Excuse me, are you George? Are you the owner of a puppy? Because I bring really bad news. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hung himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No, Miss Fortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. Shadam! Happiness to George the Piñata! <laughs> birds thanks to them i obviously came late to the party freaking birds thanks to them i obviously came late to the party What's this? I guess it's not finished. Oh my god. Nah, I'm not feeling inspired. Okay, I'm here now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes! Ah, oh, I love the woods with the trees and the birds and the animals. Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? Yes, but all foxes are evil, so keep your eyes open. Uh, all right. Huh, what's this? A doll? Everything began with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. Stay 
back, Miss Fortune. <laughs> what is it? A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. No, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't go! Oh. <sighs> what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> Oh, it looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. Oh, okay. Magical cave? It doesn't look that magical. Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkles? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. I'll just stay in the forest. But then you won't find the eternal happiness. Oh, okay. the magic inside. <gasps> this cave is huge. Echo. <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm just joking. There was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. Thank you. <gasps> what was that? What? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. What's this? A hamster party? A magical hamster party. I know you love parties. Do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. Whoa, hamster fight! Are you going to do something about it? Keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lazy, you know. Wow, I'm feeling really nice.
person I'm into refreshment at all. <laughs> Are you all right, Miss Fortune? I'm okay. X, X, X. <laughs> Talk about crazy. These tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. Look at them. With their tiny cocktails and their tiny clothing. This is too cute for me. Check that lady out. I think she's in trouble. Oh no. I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes. Looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Looks like you helped the criminal escape. Oh, damn it. Does that mean I'm a criminal too? Of course it does. Oh, really? Please don't tell me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. Excuse me. Do you need assistance? No? Okay. Hey, Miss Fortune. We need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, I'll look around. I wonder what this button does. Oh, another fancy. Good job, Miss Fortune. You found the way out. <laughs> Thank you. I saw on TV. These are the bad guys, I'm telling you. I think you're right. We need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? You see that fire alarm over there? We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that slingshot. Okay. Ah, oh, look. I use these acorns as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know, thank you. Oopsie. That was close. Well done, Miss Fortune. Yay! <laughs> Squirrelspin? Hmm, also... This looks like the science project Daddy has in the basement. I don't know why, but Mommy was really angry about it. That's a lot of cash. Is this the eternal happiness? Oh no. What makes you think that? Mommy said that money is the only thing that makes her happy. Well, your mommy is wrong. Oh really? Okay. side of the screen. Listen, I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will Miss Fortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. 
<clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry, it's not far from here. Great. <laughs> Look, a missing kid. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. All right, I can't wait. <laughs> Look, it's Benjamin from the Hoots in the Woods. <laughs> you know, if you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? No, Benji, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Wild beast, that's funny. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. Yes. Okay. So down, you fuck. Misfortune. What? Language. Ah. Pff. Mr. Voice. Yes, Misfortune. Has anyone reached the end of the game? And got in the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Bo! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make Mummy proud. Yes.
it says, don't feed the bird. Ah, okay. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign M. Mm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yeah, listen to this one. Both hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh, look. A drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go. All right. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sunbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Too bad you don't have any fish to offer the seagull. They love fish, you know. Are you trying to make me feel guilty about the fish from earlier? I made a hard decision back there, and I stand behind it. I understand, Miss Fortune. I'm just saying. Well, stop saying. Would you like to ride the royal halls of the park? Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. Look at me. I'm on the horse. Ay, horsey, stop it. Oh. Ah, oh, that was unfortunate. Are you alright? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny, and you could break. I broke my arm once. So, you know what I mean. <laughs> Check out that duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for reals. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Of course, check this out. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. Would you like to ride this one? It's like a tornado. Yes, I want to ride. Michael, stop! Ah, I can't hold it anymore! <laughs> oh no, misfortune. <laughs> When the trees are naked, <laughs> when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Mmm, apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. This 
looks like the... I think it's garbage. Really? I see he's obviously the... Just ignore it. Let the prize is... <laughs> really? Oh. Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great, just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question, have you ever stolen anything? I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, I'm so sorry for the both of you. <laughs> Second question. Are you happy right now? Yes. I mean, nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? I'm pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Thank you. For your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, uh, okay. Nice. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, where is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish. All right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No, use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. Ah, that shovel. Okay. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones. It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's in Paul. Ew, yikes forever. Nah, I don't think so. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Signed, Benjamin. It didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. <gasps> Look, there he is, Benjamin. Did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool! Come on, Benjamin! Give me back my happiness! Run after him! 
We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin you really disappointed me. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? No, you're imagining things. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. The game of death is what beats the shadows of the beyond. Huh, what does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Ah, huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. I'll put it back. much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes, don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, damn. I dropped it. Oh. It looks like there's somebody else behind us. Hello? Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. Oh. Oh, there you are. What are you doing, Benjamin? What have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake, choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh. Miss Fortune, you're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See, I told you, that fox is evil. Yeah, 
Maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find the fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes. Give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. Let's see what's new. Let's see what's new. Look, the zoo! You know, with the animals? I actually made a quick Google search. I found out the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. get to the town center. I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. Carried just you here. a voice? Mm. No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, wait, my shoelace. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. What? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Oh, uh, let's just keep going then. <laughs> Tell me about it. I remember some of what I did with street lights. Humans are not that easily Hi, impressed. You look familiar. What? Um, wait a minute. Is that Daniela Bambini? You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. She's very Italian, you know. <laughs> she probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Uh, okay. Those people in the picture look so happy drinking their yields. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hugs strangers by the dumpster. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Wait, sir! You dropped your wallet! Is this for me? A lottery ticket? Cool, thank you. Well, have a look. Is it a winner? Maybe next time. One time mommy took me here and forgot me. 
I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was a raccoon. <laughs> well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. Sometimes. Is that so? Mm-hmm. One time mommy took I got to play and he thought I was the right. Well, that Yeah, except for me. It says, let's face it. Sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. I know who owns this door. Who is it? Casey's dad. <laughs> Who's Casey? A friend from school. Haven't seen him for a while though. Look, even more missing children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved. And that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. <laughs> it says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it, maybe you'll need a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. 20. 2020. It says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that maybe you'll need a bus. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Should I sit down and wait? Do as you please. Okay, thank you. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Nah, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. This bus trip might take a while. 
Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiriba do kudasuka. <laughs> you are really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. Kiriba do kudasuka. Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh, I love cows. You see that baby cow? Uh, unlucky things seem to happen all the time. Nesta, you're parking. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. Well, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh, didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without paying. Hmm. I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store, and she got some free food. But I haven't got any titles yet, so that might not work. I see. Well, I have an idea. What if we use diversion? Hmm. What does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay, let me think what I can do. <gasps> A wolf! Can one pet the wolf? He looks really sweet. Just wait and see, Miss Fortune. Wait and see. <laughs> okay, I'll wait and then I'll see. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Hello, can I get inside for free? Huh, I guess not. Any tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. Okay, this is breakable, like, like with a rock or something, like, like a stone. Hmm, I think I came up with an idea. What if... What if I break this window and make a hell of a noise? <laughs> wow, that's a wild idea, but I like it. Thank you. Isn't this wonderful? We'll get to see so many caged animals. <laughs> caged animals? By the way, you did a great job not getting caught by the vendor. Very impressive. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> but now, we should find out where the wolf exhibit is. Why? You mean Benjamin's cousin is a wolf? Yes. Remember, he knows where the fox lives. All right. Look, birdie not mom. <laughs> oh, what? What did you just say to me? Give yourself a fuck. Oh, Miss Fortune, watch that mouth. 
I don't care. This bird is mean. Oh dear. We need to get your happiness back as soon as possible. It says, Benam Nam Parrot. This kind of parrot lives across the entire world. They talk much, but say very little. They usually work together with human pirates. Natural born thieves. Founders of the Liberation Front. Huh? Mean birdie nom nom. Look, this bird seems pretty smart. It isn't. Trust me. Move on, Miss Fortune. Okay. It says, Owl Delusions. These owls normally hang near libraries, bookstores, and coffee shops. Although they seem incredibly smart, their huge self-centered lifestyle drives them to gather useless information. They live off a pension. <laughs> Funny bird. It says, Owl Delusions. These owls normally hang near libraries, bookstores, and coffee shops. Although they seem incredibly smart, their huge self-centered lifestyle drives them to gather useless information. They live off a pension. <laughs> Funny bird. Somehow I feel offended by this bird. Don't be. It doesn't know what it's doing. Okay. It says, Fuck it, Ilios, this shit you. These birds multiply at a very high rate with different partners, leaving behind dysfunctional offspring. They don't care about anything as long as they are occupied by mindless entertainment. Oh, really? It says, Fuck it, Ilios, this shit you. These birds multiply at a very high rate with different partners, leaving behind dysfunctional offspring. Human they beings, don't care human about beings. Anything as long as they are occupied by mindless entertainment. Oh, really? That's funny, mocking human beings. It says, Fuck it, Ilios, this shit you. These birds multiply at a very high rate with different partners, leaving behind dysfunctional offspring. They don't care about anything as long as they are occupied by mindless entertainment. Oh, really? to steal things, even if it's good for birds. I'm a little lady, you know. It's not what a little lady does. Simple as that, okay? Okay, Miss Fortune. Whoa, so much to see and do. Find the wolf area, so we know where to go. I think the zoo is about to close. Great job. Let's hurry up now. You know, I'm feeling really annoying. Like a lot. What's happening to me? I smell hormones waking up inside you. What? Comos? No. Hormones. Ah, okay. What's that? Your body is preparing to create life inside you. You'll get a lot of new feelings that are completely normal. Ah, okay. And you'll bleed for three to five days from your vagina. Ew, 
Yikes, forever. You will also suffer each month for many, many years. It's funny. And society will treat you like garbage. Are you for real? Yes, I am. I think I need some emergency glitter. <laughs> ah, so much better. It's funny he says that right there at the war. <laughs> With the clam. There are coins at the bottom of the fountain. Yes, those are people's wishes. Can one pay for wishes? People nowadays think they can buy everything with money. I wish I could throw a coin and ask for my happiness back. Also that Benjamin transform into a good foxy because I would totally go out on a date with him. If he was good. Mm. Are you done here, Miss Fortune? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could write Japanese, so I could send a cute postcard to my friend Hira. But where does a ghost live? Stop lying, Miss Fortune. Ghosts are not real. You're just jealous because you don't have a ghost friend. Ah, look at those sweet blushes. They could be all my babies. Don't get too attached to those toys. Don't worry, I'm just looking. This looks like the way to the wolf. Yes, let's go then. Oh my. Looks like this area is closed to the public. Ah, oh, damn it. You will have to sneak past the janitor to get to the other side. Don't let her see you. Otherwise, she will lock you in and call your mommy. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm like a sweet little ninja. I could hide behind those boxes, right? Great idea. Hide behind a box until she turns her back to you. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> Look, the bear in the picture is sucking a popsicle. <laughs> it looks like it's strawberry flavored. Mmm, yummy. Oh. Like a little ninja lady. Well done, Miss Fortune. Now, wait for her to turn her back to you and... And then kill her from behind? What? No. Why? That's what the ninjas do in movies. I've seen, like, all of them. Don't tell mommy. Well, this isn't a movie, so just do as I say. When she turns around, you can jump out and keep moving. Ah, uh, all right then. It just looks a lot cooler on TV. Oh. I'm like the Shadow Ninja Master. She never saw me. Don't celebrate just yet. There's one more box you have to sneak past. You better watch me when I nail this one. Oh, I made it. Little Ninja Lady is the best. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. We're getting pretty close. This one looks like the other one that didn't look like you see. Yes. So you know. Yes. <laughs> oh look, it fits. The path to Sanar City is twisted by the malevolent games from the beyond. What? A path twisted to where? Don't pay any attention to these silly rocks. The path to Sanar City is twisted 
by the malevolent games from the beyond. What? A path twisted to where? Don't pay any attention to these silly rocks. Nobody's else coming. You really proved your ninja skills back there, Miss Fortune. But I'm pretty sure I was the best at hiding back there. No, that doesn't count. You're not a little lady like me. You're just a boy. Oh, you'll see. I'm much, much more than that. However, now you should go and meet the wolf. Got it. Meet the wolf, maybe pet it, and get Benjamin's address. Like a ninja. It's locked. I need a key for this. Yes, you do. It says, Canis Lupus, also known as the Big Bad Wolf. His favorite snack is... Red Hooded Little Girls. That's silly. Remember the missing children? Mm-hmm. Maybe he's behind it all. You think he's eating the children? Who knows? <gasps> You're right. We should call the cops on him. No, we don't want to get involved with the police. Ah, uh, okay. Look, there's a note. It must say where the fox lives. We need to take it. Uh, I can't reach it from here. We need to find a key to open the cage. I'll find that key. You'll see. Hello, are you Benjamin's cousin? You know, that fluffy fox with the most dearest big blue eyes? No? I don't know anyone called Johnny, who's that? I'm talking about Benjamin. He's this sweet looking fox that ended up stealing my happiness. I'm not that into him anymore. Maybe you should stop talking to him and find a way inside the cage, Miss Fortune. Ah, uh, alright. I'll be back, Wolf. And we'll sort this out about Benjamin. That'll do for now, part one. See you in part two. Strange game, Miss Fortune. <laughs>